Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa has sent a cable of congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abd Aziz Al Saud, on Saudi Arabia's National Day anniversary. His Majesty the King expressed sincere congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, wishing him abundant health, happiness, and long life, as well as further progress and prosperity to the broadly Saudi people under his leadership. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, on Saudi Arabia's National Day. His Royal Highness wished King Salman abundant health and happiness and the Saudi people for their progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness also sent a similar cable to the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Defense Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. Speaker of the Council of Representatives Fawzia bint Abdullah Zainal stressed that Saudi Arabia enjoys a great international weight and plays a pivotal influential role that reflects on efforts to achieve stability and peace in the region and strength unity in the face of the various challenges that the Arab and Islamic nations are going through. The speaker lauded the deep-rooted exceptional Bahraini-Saudi relations that are based on high bonds, strategic ties, a kindship and a shared destiny. In a cable to the Saudi Shura Council Chairman Abdullah bin Mohammed Al Sheikh marking Saudi Arabia's National Day. The speaker praised Saudi Arabia's glorious march, landmark achievements, and great civilizational progress. She expressed sincere congratulations to the Saudi Shura Council Chairman on his country's National Day, wishing Saudi Arabia further progress and prosperity. She pointed out that Saudi Arabia is a safety valve and a bulwark that safeguards the security and stability of the Arab and Islamic nations, noting that it plays a leading role on the humanitarian, political and economic levels regionally and internationally. On the occasion of the International Day of Peace, the Council of Representatives Speaker Fawzia bint Abdullah Zainal paid tribute to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for turning Bahrain into a beacon of peace, coexistence and tolerance between all religions, doctrines and sects and building a cohesive society. She praised Bahrain's landmark strides, commending the dedicated efforts exerted by the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. She hailed Bahrain's deep-rooted record of peaceful coexistence, cultural, religious and ethnic plurality, which was further consolidated through the pioneering reform process led by His Majesty the King, hailing royal initiatives to foster peace, tolerance and coexistence being a key pillar of the national development. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Saleh al Saleh, affirmed that the Saudi National Day represents an important opportunity for recalling the march of achievements made by the kingdom and the comprehensive development that the two kingdoms are witnessing in light of the joint keenness to achieve it by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz al Saud and His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa. Al Saleh noted that celebrating the 89th Saudi National Day is a celebration of Saudi Arabia's prominent role in support of Arab and Islamic causes and an affirmation of its efforts to achieve security and stability in various world countries. The Foreign Affairs Minister Rashid Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa expressed satisfaction with the level and course of cooperation between Bahrain and the United Nations. He ascribed this momentum to the wise le the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, reflected in the openness of the Kingdom of the to the world and its firm belief in joint action that benefits all sides. The minister had earlier arrived in New York, accompanied by a number of senior officials from the ministry. Ministry of Foreign Affairs and other state ministries and institutions to take part in the activities of the 74th session of the UN General Assembly, the UNGA 74. This year's UNGA 74 is being held under the theme of galvanizing multilateral efforts for poverty, eradication, quality, education, climate action, action and inclusion. The minister will deliver Bahrain's statements before the General Assembly and participate in a number of high-level 
high-level events on the sidelines of the United Nations General Assembly meetings. He will also meet a number of officials from Bradley and friendly countries and UN senior officials as part of the kingdom's keenness on developing its ties with world states at all levels. Sheikh Khalid stressed that the UNGA remains an important international event for the countries that are keen on playing their role in full to consolidate international peace, security and sustainable development, strengthen the gains of their people and achieve UN goals. The Minister of Foreign Affairs expressed hope that the UNGA 74 will reach lasting solutions to current crisis and challenges to ensure a more prosperous future for all nations and people. Information Affairs Minister Ali bin Mohammed al Ramehi commended the pivotal role played by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and its leadership, highlighting its deep rooted religious and historical heritage. He praised the Saudi king's enlightened and constructive role in promoting Islamic issues, fostering the culture of tolerance and moderation, taking honorable stances in support of poor and disaster hit people, as well as bolstering security, peace, and sustainable development in the regional and the world. He extended deepest congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, the Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Defence Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and the Saudi government and people on their country's 89th National Day, commemorating the unification and foundation of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia by late King Abdulaziz Al Saud. In a statement to Saudi press agency, the minister said that Bahrain, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa, Al Khalifa stands united with Saudi Arabia, backing its pivotal role to strengthen GCC joint work, lead the Arab and Islamic nations, hailing the deep rooted historic and fraternal ties binding the two countries. He underlined the solidarity of Bahrain, the Arab and Islamic nations, with Saudi Arabia, supporting all measures undertaken to maintain its security, stability, and sovereignty, defend its borders and vital economic and oil facilities, and protect the holy sites, ensure the safety of citizens and pilgrims and confront terrorist designs and criminal aggression and thwart all subversive attempts and combat terror and extremism. The minister hailed the establishment of the Bahrain Saudi coordination last July, stressing its importance in consolidating complementary and strategic partnerships in all political, economic, military, security and media fields. Describing Riyadh as the biggest economic, trade and tourism partner, he pointed out that the volume of non-oil trade exchanges have exceeded 3 billion US dollars annually. He saluted Saudi Arabia on its 89th National Day, affirming that it would continue its landmark political, economic and social march, defeat the forces of evil and terrorism, thwart all conspiracies and media campaigns which will not succeed in subverting its security and stability or undermine its influential and pivotal regional and international standing. Bahraini people share the celebrations of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia on the occasion of its 89th National Day, where a number of malls in Bahrain held inter entertainment activities as a reflection of the deep-rooted bonds between the two countries and the two peoples, which are a role model in all fields. There's still a day to go, but the celebrations are already in full swing in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Formations from the Royal Saudi Air Force and the Saudi Hawks aerobatic team took to the skies above Jeddah yesterday in preparation for National Day. Fighter jets bearing the Saudi flag flew in formation past an audience at the north Corniche of the Jeddah waterfront with their F-15s, F-15Cs, Tornado, Typhoon and MRTT refueling aircraft. 
Arts. Monday's celebrations will feature more than 40 entertainment, cultural and sporting events and activities across the country, including festivals, concerts and firework displays. Major entertainment shows are being staged in Dammam, Jeddah and Riyadh, including a special creation from the famous Cirque du Soleil. Al Hamra Corniche in Jeddah is the location for Star Island on September the 23rd. Fireworks will fill the sky with a dazzling display accompanied by lighting and laser beams. Riyadh has been covered in green for National Day celebrations. Major streets are hosting festivities including children's workshops, restaurants and food stalls. The entrance to the event has been designed to resemble the Mesmic Palace Gate. Cooperation between the two brotherly countries are witnessing new additions every day with aspirations for more achievements and positive results for the two brotherly peoples. More in this report with Yasmin Ibrahim. The relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and Saudi Arabia are characterized by historical ties that are constantly evolving at all fields based on common principles and visions due to the care of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. The bilateral relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia are distinguished by many important features and characteristics that make them a model in Arab relations. Based on a common vision to consolidate the existing cooperation between the two countries and the two countries' leaders' same vision and opinions on Arab regional issues and how to interact with them while following the Arab and Islamic principles on all issues and enhancing joint Arab action, and to adhere to the principle of dialogue in all regional and international forums where the two countries pursue a foreign policy based on rationality, wisdom and principle of dialogue in all regional and international forums. Culturally, the two countries have fruitful cooperation in the fields of culture, art and literature from the unity of language, culture and common history, which is reinforced by the keenness of His Majesty the King to attend the annual Janadria Heritage Festival. Historically, the official relations between Saudi Arabia and Bahrain go back to the first Saudi state where the two countries began to meet. This relationship was established in the second Saudi state, which culminated in many visits between officials in both countries for the benefit of both sides. The Bahraini-Saudi relations are becoming stronger, deeper thanks to the leadership of both countries. The relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia receive all forms of support from the two countries' wise leaders and will remain a model for solid relations that are becoming stronger in various fields and contributing to serving the joint interests of the two countries and the Arab and Islamic nations. Since the founding of the first Saudi state and until the establishment of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, whose regions were unified by Prince Abdulaziz bin Abdul Rahman al-Saud in 1932, the relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia has been described as deep-rooted, evident by the long-standing relations between the two royal families and the exchanged visits between the two countries' kings as well as the geographic connection. The bilateral relations witnessed extensive coordination of stances towards regional and international issues in the conferences and summits of the Gulf Cooperation Council, Arab League, Organization of Islamic Cooperation, and the United Nations, as well as other international events. The Kingdom of Bahrain stands firmly in support of Saudi Arabia in all its affairs, fully aware that it provides strength to all Arabs and Muslims. The inauguration of the King Fahd Causeway in 1986 by the custodian of the two holy mosques, the late King Fahd bin Abdulaziz al Saud, and his brother, the late His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman al Khalifa, was a turning point for the two countries' integration. As a result of the causeway, trade became more active and traveling increased, reaching record numbers that exceeded tens of thousands daily. The social harmony between the two peoples contributed to creating a joint platform that expresses similar interests in the artistic, literature, heritage and media fields, and both countries are considered a favorite destination for citizens, whether for tourism or shopping. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia represents a strategic depth for Bahrain on the geopolitical and economic fields, and either country stands firmly in support for the other, stemming from Arab chivalry and Islamic doctrine. Trade between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has grown exponentially mainly due to the construction of the King Fahad Causeway. A proposed railway between the two countries will also create great opportunities which will further increase trade in the future. More on this report with Yasmin Ibrahim. 
The Kingdom of Bahrain enjoys long-standing healthy bilateral relations with most countries of the world, yet the relationship with its neighbor, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, runs much deeper than with other countries, not just historically, but culturally and economically as well. These established relations have brought together leadership and citizens. Both countries hosted many functions to further cement partnership between the two parties. The adoption of infrastructure projects, financial investments and more even-handed growth have continuously taken place within the framework of close cooperation between Saudi Arabia and the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is considered Bahrain's first trading partner, where Saudi investments in the Kingdom of Bahrain exceeded 13 billion Saudi rials, while the number of active companies that have a Saudi investment in Bahrain are 315, while the number of Saudi companies operating and registered in Bahrain are about 43 companies, as well as the existence of several joint economic projects linking the businessmen and investors in both countries, which have been greatly enhanced. The connections with the Saudi oil networks are vital to Bahrain. Both countries share an oil field, where crude oil is transported to Bahrain from Saudi Arabia through a key pipeline at about 220,000 barrels a day. The opening of the King Fahad Causeway, which facilitated the transfer of capital between the two countries and contributed to having multiple joint economic projects, a proposed second causeway linking Saudi Arabia and Bahrain, underlines the deep relations between the two kingdoms. The causeway is expected to cost 4 billion to 5 billion US dollars, and the two kingdoms hope the private and public sectors will share the costs, risks, and profits. The bridge aspires to add much to the trade, investments, and other connection amongst these countries. There are plans to connect the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the Kingdom of Bahrain by railway. Both countries are aiming for an improved transport connection, which will vastly expand and improve their economic, cultural, political and brotherly ties. Bahraini-Saudi relations are progressing, noting that they are based on a long history of mutual love and cooperation.